everyone, I'm Marissa Ciparino, registered dietitian in the Community Navigation and Weight Management Departments. Many of you have probably heard that spaghetti squash is a great alternative to pasta because it is a non-starchy vegetable. It can be cooked in a variety of ways and today I'm going to show you how to do it in the microwave and in the oven. Cooking it in the oven gives it a more rustic flavor and allows you to season it beforehand. So what you're going to do is cut your squash in half raw before cooking it. Then you will scoop the seeds out like a pumpkin and spray both sides with olive oil. Feel free to season this with your favorite flavors, but today I'm going to use a little pepper and salt. Then simply place it on a baking sheet and depending on the size, it will take 35 to 50 minutes at 400 degrees. You'll know it's done when you can easily poke it with a knife. The microwave option is short and simple. You simply poke holes with a fork around the entire squash and then microwave it in five minute intervals. This helps to prevent the squash from exploding in your microwave. You want to keep this on a microwave safe plate and every five minutes check to see if you can easily cut it with a knife. Once you can, you know it's done. The cook time will depend on the size of your squash. This squash took 15 minutes, so I microwaved it in three five minute intervals and checked to see if you could poke a knife into it easily. So now that I've let it cool for 15 minutes, you want to cut it in half and scoop the seeds out like a pumpkin, being careful not to remove the stringy squash on the inside. Once you've got the seeds out, you simply take a fork and drag it from the top of the squash to the bottom. And as you can see, the squash comes out in strings like pasta. I love to serve spaghetti squash the way I would serve regular pasta. For me, mixing it together with sauteed spinach, garlic, tomatoes, and onions puts a nice Italian flair on it. And you really don't miss the pasta. I really hope you've enjoyed this recipe demo and hope that you try a new vegetable.